Radiotherapy can cause many different side effects, such as tiredness. The side effects you get will depend on the area you're having treatment to. But there are some general side effects you might experience regardless of where your cancer is. This video is about the general side effects you might have. As the normal cells um, repair themselves from the treatment, this can use and off the body's resources and um, causing tiredness. After about four weeks, I started to get tired. The body was, was starting to, to weaken. I, I would tired day and night. Get up in the morning was like a chore. I couldn't talk for five minutes. I would just sleep and just sleep and just wake up and sleep again. Listen to your body, take rests if you need to, um, try not to overdo things. Don't fight with yourself too much, just like go a pace and just work with your body. If you can't make it today, you can't make it today. You've got to rest. You have to take the time to rest. Just going for them small walks, they really do help you. Um, and even if it is, just walking around your house or just walking around the block. Doing exercise can help with tiredness by helping you maintain energy levels. Being outside, that's a big massive thing as well because you're feeling the fatigue and I think getting outside, just getting a bit of fresh air, that really, really did help me. The tiredness you can expect to begin within the first few weeks of treatment. Once it reaches its peak, about two weeks after treatment, then it will recovers um, quite quickly after that. It's not forever. You're not going to be like this forever. And I did have to tell myself that. Two months after treatment, I start to feel less tired. And um, that was a way forward because things start to really improve. Radiotherapy can cause soreness of the skin. This only affects the area that you are having treated. This usually starts to appear about two weeks after you start treatment. You may notice this becoming more red um, and may become more itchy and sore as treatment continues. After about 10 days, it started to get red on the area that they, they were targeting and it just progressively got redder and redder. My skin was dry and at the back was just like this triangle shaped thing when it was like, okay, I'm a woman of colour, but it was really, really black. It wasn't too painful. You know, it was sort of annoying rather than painful. After treatment's finished, the skin will remain sore um, for up to two weeks, um, but then recovers quite quickly. I haven't got no scarring now at all. It was maybe three or four weeks, and then all the blemishes disappeared front and back. When you start treatment, we would advise you to carry on with your normal skincare routine, um, but as the side effects develop, then your team will advise you on which products um, you can use on the skin safely. When I'm washing myself, you use a sponge and you just literally, as it were, just squirt it down. You don't rub the skin at all because it's already damaged. Pat dry, don't rub. I spoke to the hospital about it and it was them that recommended this cream to put on. Uh, just to alleviate the symptoms. We'd recommend wearing loose clothing and keeping the treatment area covered up against uh, the sun and wind. I had to change most of my wardrobe on to wear cotton. Wearing t-shirts, soft clothing, uh, nothing that would rub. It's important to, when you go outside to make sure that you do wear that headscarf or you do wear a hat or whatever it is. I wouldn't go in the sun at all at all because my skin was, I know it was too delicate. Radiotherapy can cause hair loss in the area that's being treated, whereas chemotherapy can cause hair loss all over the body. Two to three weeks um, after the radiotherapy, I was brushing my hair and loads came out on the brush. I knew it was going to happen, but it was just hard when it happened. In most cases, the hair 
will grow back. This can take a couple of months and the hair may have slightly different colour or texture. Mine did grow back and there's a lot of grey in it, so I have to dye it. This is not my original colour. It's very slow growing back. Use a simple soap to um, clean the area, be gentle with the skin in that area and after washing pat the area dry with a soft towel. I felt frustrated. Some days were really, really challenging where there were just tears without words. It's a mixture of emotions. You, you feel angry and you feel frustrated. You lose your confidence. Radiotherapy can cause a lot of emotions um, at various times during the treatment. You may feel sad or anxious or depressed, which is quite normal. It's good to talk to people about your experiences, whether that's your team at the hospital or friends and family. I couldn't praise the team highly enough. Everybody that was involved were unbelievable. And if it hadn't been for them, I just don't think I would have gotten through with it. I did have a nurse as well, and she had the experience of dealing with people that went through brain surgery, went through radiotherapy. Um, so it was just great that I could reach out. Your team will be able to give you information about local patient support services that are available. Um, that includes things like counselling and complementary therapies. I refer from the hospital with counselling, which I attended for about a year. There's also lots of support available online and in your local area. I went on loads of different forums and um, I spoke to loads of different people and it really, really helped me. If I didn't do that, I don't think I, don't think I would have got through most days. You can feel you get a bit cranky or get feeling a bit low, go for it. There's so much help out there. And that's why I'm pushing forward, like, don't sit down in silence, it's the same thing, just get the help you need. If you're experiencing a side effect that hasn't been covered in this video, you can find more information on the Cancer Research UK website.